You're watching Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm your host, Alicia Starkey. Transitional Options for Women is a new transitional program with the goal of making a difference in the lives of women who have recently been released from incarceration. The facility provides women with the steps necessary to get back on track towards an independent life. On June 21st, you too will have an opportunity to step to your favorite song of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s in order to support this great organization. Here to tell us more is Transitional Options for Women Executive Director, Dorothy Owsley. Thank you for being here today, Dorothy. Thank you for having me. Well, I, I love the whole concept of this new facility, um, bringing women who have recently been released from jail or prison to kind of help them transition back into the community. So can you tell us more about this facility and why such a facility is needed in this area? Absolutely, Alicia. The one important thing about transition options for women is geared to making the woman whole. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times women go in, men for their matter but mostly women they, they're damaged and never get healed inside out so we are geared to make sure that everything is done upon their release to make sure every facility every opportunity is allowed for them to become uh, productive citizens once again okay great and for the Roanoke Valley there's obviously a need for that I mean this is one of the only facility or the only facility that um, is geared towards women only who do not have children with them is that absolutely it's specifically just for the woman okay we'll, we'll eventually venture out to rebuilding the family but okay. the main focus is the woman once they're released they come into the facility they have to be referred by probation and parole mm -hmm. um, they have to be from the local area and the minute they get there their whole program is already geared from the day they step forward okay all right well let's talk a little bit about the program okay. how is it set up and what are some of the offerings that um, are offered for the women well the the way it's set up the, again they have to be referred from probation or parole or from the releasing facility they're interviewed before they get there so the minute they come in their whole schedule for the next 30 days is ready for them to go the once they hit their bed they, when they get up in the morning it's time to go mm -hmm. and it's geared to make sure that whatever appointments they need whatever psychological physical uh, needs they need are met mm -hmm. whatever clothing the whole round of uh, emotional support would be there. We'll have case managers for those who need those, okay. employment specialists uh, for those who need, obviously going to need that. Mm -hmm. But all the times, employment is not the first thing that they need. Right. They need the other self healing So once the evaluation is complete, before they get there, it's already going to be um, in motions to make sure that they get they put their needs met in a timely manner. Okay, so is this a 30-day program, a 60-day, or is it just whenever the woman feels has has all the issues have been addressed to the best of you all's ability and they're ready to go out and live on their own? What is the timeline? Well, we're requiring anything anywhere from 60 to 90 days. Okay, um, because the first 30 days is just an adjustment period. Right, and especially if you've been incarcerated for a long period of time. Right, 30 days is just a it's just a it's not going to happen. Right, right. So we're requiring anywhere from 60 to 90 days, depending on the needs of each individual woman. Okay, great. So let's talk about this this event that's happening on uh, June 21st. It's called Back in the Day Getaway. Tell us about what we can expect. Well, not to date myself. <laughs> <laughs> Could probably touch on each one of those decades, but you can expect it even a fun um, and light, and just a time to people to come together mm -hmm. to. Um, bring the organization to light, but also a time for people just to let their hair down, remember that time in, in their lives that was special. Okay. Um, we want, we're going to have fun, we're going to have dancing, um, music, okay. um, competition, either vocal or dancing, whichever one you prefer. Okay. But you can come dress as your favorite artist or your favorite attire in the day. You know fashion back in those days was quite the thing. Yes, so you can kind of bring back your favorite uh, fashion without getting, without getting ridiculed okay. these days. And real quick, we're just about out of time. It's a $25 cover. Yes. Okay, to get in and all the proceeds go to help supporting your organization. Absolutely. And uh, we will make sure all that information is up on the screen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you.
You can find out more about the Back in the Day Getaway and other events happening in the Roanoke Valley on the community calendar coming up at the break. I'm Alicia Starkey and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9. Thanks for tuning in.